Johnson, step one of the Pond Crisis, Koi Vet, tour of fish health issues, Skugit, Merker, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Step one, um, your fish are sick, trying to figure out what to do. We're going to go down through it in 20 steps, and this is the first one. And believe it or not, it has nothing to do with water quality. It has to do with, step one, handling the fish. The first thing to ask yourself is recent handling stress of the fish because it makes a huge difference in your success rate with a fish health issue. If the fish have been handled um, straight out, like yesterday, introduced into a pond, handled, shipped, whatever, their immune system is on hold. Yeah. It turns out you don't have to hold them for a minute and you don't have to hold them for an hour. You don't have to hold them for 24 hours to shut down the immune system exactly the same way. If you handle a fish, its immune system, or at least a big segment of its immune system, shuts down. I'm not sure why. They're not animals for uh, that much in the way of immunological studies for hobbyists. Um, if it matters to game fish, it gets work. Um, so, in any event, with recent handling, um, you need to be aware that your success rate is kind of challenged and speaks to fish that have been transported or handled uh, that are under stress, could have abrasions on their bodies from being netted up, uh, handling, possibly introduction of new parasites, because when you get new fish, a lot of times they have parasites, or you could assume that they do, and that would be a safe assessment. Um, so assess recent handling and kind of take the optimism down just a point or two if the fish have been recently handled. If fish are sick in your pond and haven't been recently handled and it's springtime, you're going to do better than if it was springtime and the fish just recently got put into the pond. So step one, recent handling, it's a problem. Add that to the list of things to, uh, that you'll be combating. Let's move on to step two.